Item number, SCP-692. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. Each package of SCP-692 is to be stored in a sealed plastic container. Any cloth or synthetic textile coming into contact with SCP-692 is to be incinerated within one hour of the incident, unless it is being used for testing, in which case it is to be incinerated after testing. Security personnel present at testing are to be equipped with standard-issue gas-based flamethrowers. Description SCP-692 comprises 57 packages of Viserese, washing powder secured by the Foundation from a general store in Czech Republic and several households nearby. All of the packages belong to the production series. Chemical testing reveals no statistically significant deviations from composition with respect to Viserese washing powder of unaffected production series. When an article of clothing exposed to SCP-692 comes into uninterrupted contact, at least 15 minutes long with a living multicellular organism, within the following 4 to 15 hours, the article, referred to as SCP-692-1, will spontaneously animate. SCP-692-1 at this stage shows the contours of the imprinting organism. Although bisection of several instances of SCP-692-1 has revealed that the inside of such contour contains air at ambient pressure. Through an as-of-now unknown mechanism, SCP-692-1 is capable of locomotion, manipulation of objects, and at times, accretion of more articles of clothing into its mass. Furthermore, SCP-692-1 with a single nucleating item will behave as a single entity, even if there is no physical connection between the items. The mode of behavior of SCP-692-1 depends on the length of exposure to the imprinting organism, longer times resulting in a higher quality of simulation. Approximately three hours of uninterrupted contact are sufficient for the imprinting of most mammals. SCP-692-1 are unaffected by most mechanical damage, and as such, Incineration is the recommended method of disposal. Addendum 692-1 Test Log SCP-692 Item 0.5 meters by 0.3 meters sheet of cloth Impregnating agent A house cat Exposure time 5 minutes Result No effect observed even after 10 hours Cloth incinerated. Item 0.5 meter by 0.3 meter sheet of cloth. Impregnating agent. A house cat. Exposure time 15 minutes. Result Two hours after impregnation, the sheet has wrapped itself as if enveloping the body of a house cat of equal size to the impregnating agent. Resulting SCP-692-1 showed no traces of animation. Cutting resulting SCP-692-1 into several segments produced no adverse effects. Resulting SCP-692-1 was subsequently incinerated. Item 0.5 meter by 0.3 meter sheet of cloth. Impregnating agent. A house cat. Exposure time. Three hours. Result: One and a half hours after impregnation, the sheet has wrapped itself as if enveloping the body of a house cat of equal size to the impregnating agent. Resulting SCP-692-1 has exhibited behavior consistent with that of the impregnating agent. When presented with a live mouse, resulting SCP-692-1 appeared excited and proceeded to capture and kill it. Resulting SCP-692-1 isn't adversely affected by machine washing, though doing so appears to anger it. This instance of SCP-692-1 currently resides within the Office of Researcher E. Item: A Standard D-Class Jumpsuit Impregnating Agent D-835 A 25-year-old white male Exposure Time 3 Hours Result: Two and a half hours after impregnation, the jumpsuit appeared as if filled with a human body. 
The resulting SCP-692-1 became active when approached, slamming the present technician into a wall and attempting to escape the test room. Resulting SCP-692-1 failed to escape, as its lack of digits didn't allow for manipulation of door mechanisms, and was subsequently incinerated by security personnel. Lesson Complete If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-691, A Coward's Way Out, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.